everyone. Last day in Vegas. So it's 10am. Uh, Struggled to get up this morning. I think the lack of sleep is catching up on me. Anyway, I'm just uh, waiting for breakfast at Pantry. Um, it's really busy here, but um, they've got some bar seating open up, so hopefully I'll only have to wait five more minutes or so. Um, anyway, I'll show you what I get for breakfast and take you along on whatever I do for this morning. dollars a spin. Right, let's see if we can have success on our final day. So, hundred dollars in, bonus or bust. Come on, where's those hats? Come on. One bonus. That's all I want. Jeez, there's not many hats about. Come on, come on. Oh, oh. I'll take the buzzsaw wheel. I'd take, you know, 500 minor, that'd be good. And the manger would be nice. Just a bonus. Alright, halfway. It's going pretty quickly. Come on. Come on, hats. Alright. Little line hit there. We'll keep us going for a little bit longer. Three more spins. Come on, find those hats. All right, eight to go. Not even seeing a buzz. Oh, that, I was going to say, not seeing a buzz saw. There's one. All right, four more spins. to go and last spin right, we'll get one more come on do it come on bus source all right are we gonna get it on the wager saver I oh, can't even win the wager saver all right that's it final day of hunting's high limit hundy and we are a bust so that was two from six. I'll put up our totals at the end um, from the two days that we did have a win so you can see how much we ended up with. Right, I'm on the move. Um, 
I've just spent a bit of time in the room cleaning up uh, all my suitcases, trying to balance them out so I'm not over late, overweight on luggage. Um, so, yep, heading down to the casino floor now for a gamble. Um, my friend who was flying in from Australia, his flight's been delayed by about 40 minutes, so we're hoping we can still meet up, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I hope I can get a few more bonuses before the end of the trip. Did you all think I was going to leave Vegas without playing Buffalo Link just one more time? Try and hit one of those nice big jackpots there. All right, $200 budget for today since I'm only here for a couple of hours. Let's hope that can be turned into 400, 500, 1,000. All right, might be wishful thinking, but let's see how we go. Two cent denom and I'm gonna do $2 a bed. Hopefully I'll be back with you soon with a bonus. Right, I might have pressed the button twice. And I might have got a hold and spin on my second spin. So maybe I could have some buffalo luck on my last day. All pretty small numbers. Let's see if we can find buffaloes with words. That's the way. Fill it up. Drop some more buffaloes in there. That's nice. Keep going. All right. Bigger buffaloes. All right. Going to keep them little warming up. Maybe the next one will be bigger buffaloes. Oh, there was a mini went past then. It can drop by. Come on, buffalo. Alright. We need you to save it on this one. It could be the last spin. Come on. One more. Drop one. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we are um, going for a $20,000 grand jackpot here. And if I was to get the, the hold and spin with in free games, we'd go for the super grand jackpot, which is up to $89,745. So that's gone up quite significantly from the other night when I was playing this. All right, we're looking for one more. Come on, let's save it, save it, save it. One more, one more. All right, that's it. Still, a second spin bonus is a good start. I hope it's a good omen. All right, $40. That will put me up to 136. All right, let's keep spinning, see if we can do that again. Well, I'm back with you because I've triggered the random bonus. So we have free spins. Now, we all know free spins are not that successful on their own and we need the bonus in the bonus. And re-triggers. Let's see how we go. Oh no, it's gonna give me the hold and spin. Oh, that's better. I prefer that. All right, come on, drop the buffaloes. Find the big buffaloes. Come on, where's all the buffaloes with words? I don't think they wanna come out and play today. Keep filling it up. That's the way. Keep going. Oh, four and one there. Drop another one. Come on. All right. Will this be the last spin. Be kind of small bonus if it is. Come on, save it. Drop one. Come on. Oh, never mind. It was a random bonus, so. Get about 26, 28, up oh, $30. All right, that's going to put me back up to 138. All right, I think that triggered at around about 800 buffaloes. So it just goes to show it doesn't have to be maxed. I have spun it down to $102. And I am back with you with a free spin bonus. Let's see how this one goes. Can we get a bonus in a bonus? Not a good start so far. Nothing yet. 
Come on, re-trigger. No. Three spins to go. Wow. Absolutely nothing. Last spin. Come on. Wow. Zero dollar bonus. Might not put this in the vlog. Right. Back down to $84. And we've got the whole spin bonus. At least we know we're winning something on this one. Alright, let's find some good buffaloes. We're getting lots of buffaloes, but they're all really small. Just giving me a teaser today. I'm not gonna drop anything big by the looks of it. Come on, save it, one more. Alright, that was over quickly. Another $30. Alright, uh, puts me back up to about $114. Alright, let's keep it going and get another bonus. Wow, well, I thought I was going to be walking away from this machine in four more spins because it's taken me all the way down to $8. And finally, another hold and spin. Again, little numbers. Can the big buffaloes come out and play, please? One buffalo with words. Come on. Uh, at least it keeps dropping some. I don't think I've, I've had any bigger than the, the 200 credits. I had a 5,000 credits about four spins ago, but just nothing else. That would have been a nice $100. So I would have been happy with that. I mean, look, I could fill the final three spots here. Give me that 20 grand. What a way to go home, hey? Oh, two to go. Come on. Drop another one. You can do it. All right, one more. Come on, save it. Nah, all over. $46. Boost me up a little bit. Back to $54. Alright, let, let's keep spinning. See if I can get anything else. And it's all over. Two cents left. Alright, so that was my first hundred. I do have another hundred, but I am getting hungry, so I think I'm just going to pop into snacks and get something to eat. Um because it could be quite a while before I eat again by the time I get to LA. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, anyway, um, I'll grab some food and then uh, have a look for another game to play before I check out. $20 this was, uh, I think $25 with the soda. Didn't expect the fries to come with it. Um, I would, I'll only need to eat that Philly cheesesteak. I won't even eat all that Philly cheesesteak. Anyway, it looks pretty good. I'm going to get stuck into this and then I'm going to go and uh, visit the rewards desk, see if I can get anything taken off my bill. I've been charging everything so I can at least get the, um, the Unity points and then I'm going to go and check out of my room, get my bags stored for about an hour and then play a bit more before I go to the airport. 
All right, it's time for me to check out of this room. Um, I had late checkout until 3 p.m. Probably don't need to leave here until 3.30, 3.45. So um, I've just got the bellman to come and grab my bags and store them for an hour. And I'll take my final 100, head downstairs. I'm going to try and find which machine is going to be lucky enough to give me a last minute hand pay before I leave. Or maybe I'll do that at the airport. Maybe I'll put some money in at the airport and I'll be one of those people who wins one of those huge big jackpots. How would that be? <laughs> I'd happily miss my flight if that happened. Anyway, I will um, show you if I get any bonuses and if not, the next time you see me, we'll be at the airport. All right, my first choice with my final 100 is the NFL Super Bowl because it's got a $1,467,000 jackpot. So if I can win that, then I'm not going home. Anyway, um, I have to choose a team. So I don't really know the NFL teams, but since I was hanging out with Casey this week and he's from Dallas, I'm gonna pick them. I think that's the, the one. And I think I'm gonna bet $1.50 a spin. And let's see how I go. All right, hopefully I'll be with you with a bonus soon. All right, I did turn the bet down and I got this double up trigger. Come on, all the way. All right, a little bit of something there, not much. All right, 7.35, puts me back up to $70. See if we can do it again, nope. Well, <laughs> thought I'd do a bit of progressive betting. $75, I'm on $3 and I've triggered. So, I'm going to go, go big or go home. All right, so we need that cash blitz to hit. Right, I spun it down to 50 on the NFL game. Got nothing else, so let's try a bit of Dancing Drums explosion on this massive machine. See if I can get a bonus on this. I'll do 188 a bet. And we've got no volume. I find that none of these big Dancing Drums machines have any volume on them. And that's half the fun of the game. Anyway, hopefully I'll bring you a bonus very shortly. Right, I did no good on the dancing drums. And it was the last of my $200 budget for today, but I've got a little left over in my winnings wallet. And I found this happy and prosperous machine with a thousand maxed out major. So on this bank of um, Dragon Links, there's actually three maxed out majors. So let's hope I'm the lucky one to hit it. All right, it's taken about $65 worth of spins. I am on a five cent denom. It's only an extra 25 cents bet than being on the two cent. And here we are with the whole spin. 
can we find that big green ball? Can we find another ball? We need one more. Come on, save me. All right. Come on, drop some more. All right, they're all small balls. We don't like small balls. I suppose they're better than no balls. I saw a miner go past. 250 would be nice. I'm not seeing the major show itself at all though. Come on, balls. Come on. All right. Need to save it on this one. Come on, drop another. One more, save it. Nope. All right, what do we got? We're only little, it won't be a huge amount. Alright, 23.75. It's pretty low considering 5 cent denom, but I suppose it's only $1.25 a spin. Alright, let's uh, keep going. Alright, I've spun it down to 17. Did move down to a 1 cent denom, just for something different. I don't do that very often. I'm on $1.50. I've got some more right. Um, oh no, the balls don't count yet, do they? It's free spins, Rachel. Let's see what we can get. Come on, balls, one more. That's a tease. Free trigger. No. Come on, balls, there we go. Bonus in a bonus. Not size bad, uh, bad size balls there. Bigger balls. That's it. Fill up those balls. Ah, uh, come on, keep going. More balls. Come on, balls. Drop another one. All right, save it for me. Save it, save it. One more. Not to be. All right, we've still got two free spins after this. Is this gonna be better than the bonus that I had on uh, the five cent Dean on? See, bigger is not always better. I only like playing the higher denoms because it increases the mini and the minor. All right. Final two games. Can we, oh, I nearly had it again there. Last spin. All right. That's put me back up to 47.50. What am I saying 47.50? 57.40. Man, am I tired. I'm gonna need a couple of days sleep when I get home. Two spins later and look at those balls. I think I'm gonna keep spinning it on this one cent on for a little while. Well, until my money runs out. Right, I'm down to $11.79. I have a hold and spin. No. All right, so I've spun down to $11.79 and I have free spins and I've moved up to the 10 cent denom. Let's see if we can trigger bonus in a bonus. Come on, balls, where are you? Retrigger though, no. Little something there. Alright. Come on, balls. Show your face. To 1450. A few coins there. 2550. Come on, balls. Oh. Last spin. Nothing. All right, back up to 37. So I was literally down to my last $2. And I'm back with some free spins. On one cent, $1.50 a spin. Can we do any good? Could be my final bonus of the trip. 
Come on, where's those balls? Or a re-trigger. Take a re-trigger as well. Come on. Come on, balls. Wow. Last spin. Absolutely shocking. Not even a 3x multiplier there. All right, I'll spin down my last couple of spins with you. Unless I get a bonus at the airport. All right. Two more spins. Come on, three more. All right. We'll be lucky. Nope. Alrighty, folks, that's it. Time to go and get my bags and head to the airport. Well, I'm waiting for an Uber. It's time to go home. Very sad that I'm not taking home a hand pay with me. But you know what? It doesn't matter about the money because I've had the best time. Anyway, we'll get to the airport and uh, do this flight from LA, um, Vegas to LA and then I'll update you on my staff travel upgrade situation when I get checked in at LAX. I think it's gonna be another one of those um, nerve-wracking weeks for the upgrade. I'll see you all soon. Radio, made it to the airport. Got myself a coffee so I can stay awake because it's gonna be a long night until I get on that flight, so. Just had to listen to a Karen having a meltdown in Starbucks because her drink didn't have enough whipped cream and she pays for that. So she's taking a photo and she's sending it to corporate and she's putting in a complaint so she can get a credit. Honey, it's just coffee. Settle down. Anyway, I see the slots ahead. Let's go and find something to play. Got to be something with a jackpot, so maybe it keeps me here. All right, I have found Frankenstein. I'm gonna play two cent denom. We'll just start with 120 a spin and see how it goes. I'll come back to you if I get a bonus. All right, can we find some Frankensteins? There we go. What's this gonna be? It's a small one. Oh, two small ones. Three small ones. Four dollars forty. Well, that was hardly worth filming, wasn't it? Oh, I couldn't have done that when I had the it's alive. Here we go again. One more head. All right. One seventy-five by. Th oh, sorry, one twenty-five by three. We've got seven dollars fifty. All right. Get a little bit higher. Goodness. All right. Hopefully this can be a little better. Yeah, it's a little better. Come on, a big one. All right. We've got $17. It's the best so far. It puts me back up to about 20. Okay, we have some free games. Let's see how we can go on this. Now, what do we get? We've got eight free games. Any multipliers are locked. screen now. Come on, need them alive. Oh, I got three. Now I need heads. More heads. More heads. More heads. Come on, heads. All right, how does this work? Three times? Come on, bigger ones. Yep, three times. Come on, that thousand by two up the top. Oh, $30 minor. Come on, go up the top again. little ones all right we got $51 there and I think we've still got five spins to go all right big win let's hit the button come on let's do that again I like the three of them more heads would have been fantastic come on heads more heads 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 all right we got five what can we do this time 
come on. Hit that thousand by two. There we go. Very nice. So that was $40, that top one. So another big win. Another $50.70, four more spins to go. So I started with 40 in this machine, so I'm making a profit. Come on, heads, 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 heads. It's like yelling out balls, but heads instead. Heads, heads. It's alive. It's alive. Oh, the thousand by two is still there. Can we find one with words? All right, what have we got that time? 23.20. Takes us up to 128, two more spins. Come on, do it on the last one. No, such luck. All right, that's pretty good. 128.54. So that puts me up to 132, and I started with 40. So I'm 92 up. Pretty happy with that. Keep playing a bit and see if I can get some more free spins. All right, I have put my bet up. I only got one, and there are bigger amounts up there. And of course, it's gonna give me one of the littlest. It's pretty shitty on a $3.60 bet. And then two spins later, it gives me all those. Couldn't have done that two spins ago, could it? No. There we go, that's better. Come on, heads, heads, heads. All right, what can we get on this one? Should be a little bit better, I think. Come on. Up the top, move up, next row, next row, up you go, up you go. All right, that's nice, $95. That's put me back up to 120, big win. Come on, 114. I'm gonna keep it going on this uh, 360 denomination because this is the one where you have the chance to win the grand. So I'll take home that 518,000. Of course, the spin I turn my bet down, look what it does. I got it two times. Come on, big one. Come on, big one, thousand by two. Nope, all right, another 27. I had spun down to 13. Right, puts me back up now to 40, which is what I started with. All right, back again. Three more. Come on. Top row. Oh, nice minor. Thank you. All right, 41 from that. Hmm. Big win. And that will put me up to 49. All right, back with four. What do we got? Come on, that's it. Nice one. Do it again. Hey. All right, that's better. 44.50. Puts me back up over my starting. Started with 40. Up to 63.80. I'd like to get some free spins again. They're fun. All right, after a long time between bonuses, back with some free games. Got lots of multipliers up there too. All right, let's see what these can do. All right, let's do it. Come on. Come on, heads. Lots of heads, 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 heads. Heads. Rude. Ah, oh, look at that. There they are. Come on. Oh, three more games. Re trigger. I can re trigger on two. So, still seven more spins. Come on, it's alive. Where are you? Oh, there's the heads. Uh, come on, heads, heads, heads. More heads, more heads. All right, only two. What do we got? Of course, it's the lowest. It's the lowest possible ones you can get. All right, four more spins to go. Come on, heads. 
Come on, more, 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 more. Mm -hmm, not much better. What do we got? It's a little better. All right. We've got 18 that time. Three spins to go. Can we re-trigger? More heads, 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 heads. There we go, that one's nice. All right, there's another 30. Big win. All right, two more spins. Come on, do it again. Or re-trigger. Come on, re-trigger. Not to be. All right, $66 bonus. Puts me back up a bit again. Whether I'm going to keep playing this or head over onto Wheel of Fortune, I think I'll stick with this a bit longer while it's still giving bonuses. All right, here we go. Up top, keep going up, 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 up. Yeah. All right, got another 16.20 there, and we are back up to 98. So that resets those multipliers. I might have put it up to $3.60. Only got two heads there. There's another $19.50. I'll keep it on these 360 spins for $20 or $30, see how I go. All right, three more. Oh, that nine's nice. Very nice. It's another $43.50. All right, so back up to 113 love to hit the free games while I'm on $3.60. I think I'd win a bit out of that. Kentucky Fried Chicken and I ordered three chicken tenders check out the size of that that's like a three in one already anyway um, I've got about two hours to my flight still don't know about the upgrade yet have been put in premium economy um, the check-in agent at the desk said he thinks I've got about a 99% chance that I will get the business upgrade Anyway, I'm going to go and eat this and try and ignore the people who just sat down on my table with me without even asking. I don't know what it is over here. I don't mind somebody joining me if they ask me, but you know, maybe I just wanted to sit here by myself and have my dinner. Anyway, I'll check in with you all later. Well, I'm sitting here at the gate. It's uh, 9.35 p.m. There's about 15 minutes until the flight starts boarding, so I should have about 15 minutes until I know whether I get my upgrade or not. Um, I am refreshing um, my boarding pass in the app. It'll show me in there whether I've been upgraded or not, so but probably not for another 15 minutes. Anyway, I'll let you know how I go. All right, I'm back. It's about up five minutes later and you can probably tell by the big smile on my face that I have my upgrade. So um, my new seat is 12A, which is, um, sorry, I hope you can still hear me over the announcements. Um, 12A, so I've got a window seat, which is fantastic. And um, it's right at the front of the aircraft um, in a very small cabin that has like five rows in it. Um, which means it's nice and quiet as well. Not as many people moving about up and down the aisles. So, yay! What a great end to an absolutely fantastic trip. Um, getting the upgrade on the way home as well, especially when it was so touch and go. All right, I'll show you as much as I can on board. And 
there's our aircraft. So I can see the pilots there in the cockpit getting ready to um, take us all the way back to Melbourne. Our luggage being loaded on. Doing some final inspections down the bottom there. So we should start boarding in around about five minutes time. So, so far it's looking like there's no delays. All right, time to board, heading up now. It's nice that the flight is boarding on time. Um, hopefully no delays in pushing back. 16 hour flight, so let's hope for some sleep. Right, we're on the move. Very much looking forward to just getting home and sleeping in my own bed now. More than four hours sleep a night. Alright, here's my seat for the flight. I'm in 12A, so up in the second row. Nice footwell there, lots of uh, leg room. Got a champagne to start off with. And window seat. And then up the front there, there's actually a, um, a bar area. So I'll see whether I can get up there during the flight and show you. All right, I have my pajamas and a little amenity kit. So an eye mask and a pair of comfy socks, some earplugs and uh, hand cream, lip balm and face cream and a toothbrush and toothpaste. So I'll be getting changed into pyjamas as soon as I can. Chasing stars and holding you 
can't see the end, but we'll see it through. vlog outro coming from bed uh, this one's coming to you from my kitchen um, so I've been home now for ooh, over a week and a half um, when I got home I got sick um, so some of you probably have seen that on um, social media already but yeah I, I got the flu when I got home so I had planned on um, filming a little outro pretty much as soon as I got home but um, that plan didn't uh, didn't happen. Anyway, um, I just thought I'd just uh, give you a really quick um, wrap up of my solo trip and my flight home, um, and then tell you about our next trip. So, um, the flight. Um, you would have seen by now, I got my upgrade. So all of that, you know, stressing all day and, checking online constantly how many seats there were in business class and whatnot. Um, that all paid off. Um, I got upgraded just as the flight was closing. So um, I had a great flight home. It was oh, five minutes short of 16 hours, um, but we did leave on time, which was fantastic. Um, the staff, again, amazing. I just, I can't fault the staff on Qantas. Um, really comfortable flight. I probably slept for oh, maybe eight or nine hours, which was really good. Um, so had some food, watched some TV, and before you know it, I was home. Um, immigration in Australia was great this time too. Um, last year when Nat and I got back, it was an absolute shit show to get through immigration in Melbourne. I don't know if it was because our flight was delayed last time. So, you know, we were just unlucky that there was a ton of other flights. But um, yeah, this time I was off the plane and through immigration in maybe 10 minutes. Um, then I had a bit of a delay waiting for bags. You've probably seen that. I think I've talked about that. Um, and then a super long line to get an Uber home. So probably getting the bags and um, the Uber home was the longest part of all of it. Um, but yeah, again, you know, no complaints at all uh, on that flight. Um, I just hope for continued luck with upgrades on future flights because um, I don't know how I'll ever go back to um, flying in economy if I have to. So thoughts on the trip. Um, look, I had an amazing time. You've probably seen that um, from the vlogs that I have put out so far. Um, it was so great catching up with Casey. Um, you know, thank you for, you know, hanging out with me um, most days. Well, I think every day that you were there, we hung out um, and gambled and you took part in my little um, game, the Vegas this or that. Um, so thanks for being a good sport with that. Um, but yeah, had, had a lot of fun. Um, 
had a lot of fun with you. Pity we didn't have um, the same gambling luck that we had last time. But uh, anyway, that's the way it goes. Um, and then on, um, was it the Wednesday? Yeah, I think it was the Wednesday when we met up with um, Gillian and John from The Getaway and BJ and Candace um, or the Kinos, as we all know them by. Um, we had an amazing afternoon down at Whataburger. That was lots of fun. And then um, later that night in Casey's room, having some drinks and lots of laughs. Um, so much fun, except for the Mort. Um, that wasn't fun. <laughs> you've, all, you've all seen my reaction to that by now. But um, yeah, won't ever do that again. But I feel like now that I've had my shot of Malort, um, I've been initiated into Kino's family. So um, anyway, that was, yeah, heaps of fun. And then can't forget about Josh and Rachel, who um, we met later on that night over at Old Red. Um, I wish I got to spend more time with Josh and Rachel. Fantastic couple. They put out some amazing videos, so make sure you, you check them out. And I really hope that I can catch up with the two of you again on a future trip. Um, I'm going to link everybody's channels down below, so make sure um, you, you go and check them out, watch their videos, subscribe, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So hotels, um, Park MGM. Um, so that was my first hotel. Look, I actually really, really enjoyed staying at Park MGM and I probably would stay there again. Um, I would say the only one real downside to it was just the, the storage in the, in the room. Um, just probably not quite enough storage, just a few funny little things in there. Um, not a big fan of the um, shower over the bathtub either, but um, look, it was a really comfortable room. Bed was great. Um, the casino was great. I actually really loved the smoke-free environment. Um, I don't think I really ate anything at Park MGM. I can't. Oh, well, about, apart from um, the night we had dinner at Bavette's, but um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't tend to have breakfast or anything like that there. I didn't go to Starbucks because I had my coffee in my room. Um, but I would like to check out a few more places there. I'd love to go to Best Friend. Um, you know, check out a few more places at Eataly. Um, my mouth waters every time I walk through Eataly. Um, so that's definitely on the um, cards for a future trip. But yeah, look, I would, I would definitely stay at Park MGM again. Great location, so easy to get to New York, New York, or walk through to Aria and then Cosmo. Um, I don't feel like it was too far down the strip. Um, so yeah, if, you, if you're on the fence about whether to stay there or not, um, I say give it a go. I'm really glad that I did. And then of course the Mirage. Um, I always love staying at the Mirage. Look, you know, I've, I've sort of been pretty loyal to them for quite a number of years. I think that might've been about my 11th stay there. Um, and I, I really did enjoy the room this time just because of that bathroom. Um, it just makes all the difference having room in the bathroom. Um, you know, us girls have a lot of stuff with all our makeup and hair care and skincare. And, and so, you know, we need, we need bench space. We need room to move around. So um, I do need to give a massive big thank you to Gina Kerry for hooking me up with that upgrade to that room. So I really, really appreciate that, Gina, more than you know. Um, I'd love to be able to meet you one day. Hope we can align trips so we're in Vegas together. And thanks for the drink vouchers too. Even though they arrived after I got home from the trip, um, I'll certainly keep hold of those until my next trip. And so while I'm on the um, subject of thank yous, um, my biggest thank you has to go out to Kevin Alderton, or you may know him as Matrix 2021. Um, Kevin was kind enough to put together the um, Koala's Lucky 20 um, intro segment for me. Um, if you've seen his vlogs, you know he is absolutely incredible at editing transitions, like just putting vlogs together in general. Um, and when I reached out to him to ask if he would give me a hand with um, an intro 
for that segment. Um, he put it together in no time and it, it was just absolutely amazing, like perfect. So Kevin, thank you so much. I truly appreciate um, the help that you gave me with that. And um, yeah, look, <laughs> you either gonna need to teach me how to do these things moving forward or I might be reaching out to you every time I have a new idea for um, for a little uh, segment on the vlogs, which I might have an idea for one for our November trip already. So um, expect a message from me or, you know, give me some tutorials. But honestly, um, I appreciate your help so much. And to everybody, if you are not watching Kevin's vlogs, um, you are seriously missing out. I will link him down below so you can um, go and check out how fantastic he is. Um, and yeah, super, super nice guy. Um, I really hope you can make it in November, Kevin, because I'd absolutely love to see you again and um, buy you some drinks to thank you for all of your help. And as you can see, I'm wearing my It's Vegas Yorgle t-shirt again. So again, thank you, Danny, for uh, my t-shirt and my coffee mug. I've been using my coffee mug every morning. Um, so if you're not familiar with um, It's Vegas Yorgle podcast, I will link them down below. Um, they've got a website, the podcast. Um, you can buy these t-shirts and the coffee mugs. Um, there's a hoodie as well. Um, so jump on over and check out all of those. They're on Facebook and Instagram. So if you love Vegas and um, like taking part in all discussions Vegas, then make sure you get onto the website, uh, leave a question on their Facebook page. Amazing group of people. So there's Danny, there's Casey, there's Sonia and Dave and Hog and Two Cent, so make sure you check them out. So next trip, um, we're probably, well, we are looking at November, early November. Don't wanna go around um, the F1 time. Look, we'd go back for Thanksgiving in a heartbeat, but I believe that F1 is around the same time as Thanksgiving. So at this stage, I think we're probably going back around the first week of November but we've just got to sort out some leave dates with work and then look at our comps to see what's going to work out. Um, and we want to see whether maybe we can squeeze in a few days at Disneyland as well. So it's been two years, I think, since we've been to Disneyland in Anaheim. So it'd be nice to check that out again. Anyway, um, we're pretty close now to that uh, thousand subs on YouTube. So if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, I'd love it if you could um, hit that subscribe button just to help us reach that 1,000. We will do a giveaway once we reach that 1,000 subs. So hopefully um, that will happen in the next week or two. Anyway, thanks so much to everybody who has um, followed along on these vlogs, left me comments, um, commented on social media. Um, you've been sharing my, um, uh, my posts on Instagram, sending people over to watch the vlogs. I really, really appreciate that. And um, yeah, that's about it. That's all I have. So time to get uh, the last couple of videos edited and out and then we will start the countdown clock again until the next trip which gosh it's going to be such a long way away november just seems forever away it's it's early march at the moment so um yeah i don't even want to hazard a guess at how many days it is but um it's far too long if i can win the lottery in the meantime i'll be back sooner all right thanks again everybody